What's going on guys, Eli here back with another video. I hope you're really excited for this one. I'm gonna be actually showing you a couple different ways to lace the Jordan 11 Concords. So get ready, leave a like if you already haven't and also subscribe to your boy and turn on the notification bells. It really helps grow the channel. And man, we are actually growing at a crazy rate. We're nearly at 400 subs, so I'm super excited. For every single one of you guys watching this right now, thank you. All right, let's get into the video without further ado. And I hope you have your 11s in hand to do this as well. Alrighty guys, so uh, I did one of these for the Jordan 1s and I actually tried it out on um, my feet and it, it's actually easier to do it laced up on feet. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. Um, I'm just going to uh, start by not having them laced. Um, just have them threaded through the first part there and then you want to grab the ends of the laces here and then just bring them all the way up and just make sure they're the same length because otherwise you're going to have wacky laces. So that's really important. So I'm going to get these things laced up to about here and then I'm going to stop the um, fast fast video, okay? So you guys just lace it up. You'll see exactly how I do it. It's pretty common sense, so um, don't get too tripped out by it. Um, and just be careful you don't get your nails or anything caught on these um, laces because they fray really easy when they get caught on. I, it's kind of weird when you push them together, you'll see what I mean. Like they're all just kind of like interlinked, but they kind of like pop out and it looks really bad once it happens. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a killer. <laughs> so watch out for that one and let's get right into it. Alrighty guys, so once you've done that, um, you've got your simple lace up. Remember, always go outside in. It really, really helps keep that plush look and they all look the same, so none are going over the wrong way. So that's always something to keep in mind. And I always say go outside in because it's just the way I do it. Um, so now I'm gonna show you the first look. So personally, this is my favorite look. All you're gonna wanna do is just get your two laces and you wanna thread it up onto the top right here. Oh, I nearly messed it up. I nearly went inside out. <laughs> So you want to go outside in just like this like that and you you can see i didn't really strangle it or make it too tight which is exactly what you want to do so you'll have it about that length okay you want to go down here and start pulling the sides apart okay and then you'll see once you pop the tongue just like that the um they get slightly shorter so then you want to pull the laces slightly and just keep adjusting the tongue and they just keep getting shorter and shorter. But as you adjust more, they will get loose as a guy. So if you don't like your shoes loose, you're not gonna really like walking around like this. But that is the first look, the loose lace, which is in my opinion, one of my favorite looks. Um, I just love how that sits there and it looks really dope. And they're so easy to just take on and off. You can literally slip them on and put them right back on. So yeah, I really love this look. I'll show you how it looks on feet right now. Cool, so the second look I'm gonna do on the second shoe over here. This look is also really, really clean and nice and it's actually the most comfortable one. Like I was just walking around the whole day yesterday with these Concords on. After a while, it does start to feel kind of stiff on your heel. Um, personally, that's what I found. Uh, but this is the most comfortable way in my opinion of how to wear them. So you'll get all laces, you tighten them slightly throughout the shoe. Don't go strangling them up here, just um, you know, slightly. So it still has that outward kind of like arch right here. And then you'll have a little bit of lace to go on the top and remember outside in like that. And this is really good if you're actually going to be walking around the whole day. Um, they really feel like they're on your feet and you won't have any issues. Oh my God, I can't get this bloody lace in. You might feel my pain when you're doing this actually. There we go. Pulling the tongue there so you get a nice clean finished look. And you just wanna lace it right to the top. A little tiny bow. These look fire with little tiny bows actually. Yeah, that's clean. Damn, look at that. Shit. Shit. Yeah, check that out. That's nice. So I compared that to the really loose one. It's crazy because this tongue actually is so nice and smooth. 
and it's just like minimal, you know, there's no branding on or anything, it just looks super fire. Um, so yeah, there's two ways to do it. I'll show you this way on feet now. Hope you enjoyed that one and the music. So now we're gonna go on to the final look and here it is. So we're gonna go and finish it on this side. Um, it's similar to this one. Now you don't have to lace it all the way to the top. Um, you can actually lace it just halfway. It depends if you wanna show off more of that tongue. But it's really up to you guys. So it's kind of like the factory lace look. So we're gonna start by just, we'll start by just undoing that right there. And you'll start with two eyelet things left. And you'll tighten up a slightly bit more like that. There we go. Now, you've got a little bit to play with here. You're just gonna wanna, it took me a little while to get used to this first part actually. So I'll do it slow. So you wanna grab these right here and then you wanna kinda grab them with two fingers on the bottom, okay? You wanna get your excess, you wanna wrap them around your two fingers, just like that, okay? So get that part. Then you're gonna grab them with your other fingers. This is how I do it anyways. And then you're gonna put the excess through the hole just the bottom part of it though, not the end. So you grab that, that, that part here. So you put the excess, I'll just do it again. Put the excess through the hole, really easy. So you wrapped it around your finger, you put the excess through the hole, and then you're gonna pull on the bottom here, just like that. And you have this little factory lace knot, which I think looks really, really neat. This is super, super neat. And you can show, still show off some tongue. So you'll pull on the uh, tongue there, you start to pull on the other laces, you can do that same technique starting on the bottom and just to, you know, get a little bit less play on that. So it just sits there really, really nice. Damn. What do you think, guys? I'm liking this way, I'm liking this way. I feel the tongue, it looks sick. I'll show you this one on feet now, let's get to it. So there you have it, there's three ways to lace your Jordan 11s. Um, I really personally love uh, the loose lace and I really, really like this lace. But if I'm going for a full day, man, I just have to go with this full tied up one. You can actually do this one with the second eyelets um, all the way tied to the top, but it actually is a lot smaller and it'll be a little harder, but it is doable. So just give it a shot. It's exactly the same, but you have to just tie it through there. But trust me, it is a little harder. It's much easier to do that and you actually get to show off some tongue. So it looks pretty fresh. I wanna know guys, which ones do you like the most? Please comment one, two, or three, uh, which ones you're actually gonna do. And I'd love to see some photos. So be sure to tag me um, from Next on Kicks or from Eli uh, on Instagram. And I'd love to see some photos of you guys lacing them up. It's really good to hear. And I'll just go back up to my face to finish off the video, guys. Awesome, guys, that is the end of the video. Let me know what you guys thought. If you liked uh, the first type, which I personally favor, the one with the really loose laces, or if you prefer to tie them all the way up top for that really comfortable, snug feeling. Really keen to see what you guys are thinking and also show me some pictures on Instagram. It's really awesome to see you guys engaging. And also leave some comments down below if you have some recommendations on what shoe you'd like to see next. Um, more how-tos. I really hope you're enjoying these videos, guys. I'm putting a lot of effort into getting them out for you weekly. So all the people watching uh, up to this time, I don't know what minute gang we're in, but I really appreciate you guys seriously you don't know how much this means so thank you guys again i will bring you another video next week and if you haven't already please like comment and subscribe guys it means so much you don't understand Alrighty, guys i'll see you next week and thank you so much for watching